Well, the Logansport City Council will meet tonight to discuss proposed changes to a system reimbursing police and firemen for clothing purchases. News Channel 18's Kristen Mayorano joins us now with more on this story. Kristen. Well, Gina and Jeff, it's a question of whether or not police and firemen should be required to submit receipts to receive their $800 allowances. The Logansport Mayor's Office says the current policy has created too much paperwork when councilmen previously pushed for the accountability of checking receipts, but is now leaning towards a compromise. For years, police and firefighters in Logansport were given an extra $800 for a clothing allowance, no questions asked. But Councilman Chuck Ladau says the last city council wanted a more accountable system, so they voted to require police and firemen to submit receipts to be reimbursed for clothing purchases. We found out that there were some um, misspendings in regards to taxpayer money. Those misspendings included one employee who used all $800 on suits from Joseph A. Banks and another male employee who submitted receipts for women's clothing. So Ladau says when Mayor Ted Franklin's office wanted to stop requiring receipts due to paperwork overload, he had some concerns. During the past four years, we've cut one third of our entire operating budget. So you look at being accountable for every penny, including uh, the clothing allowance. But after some talks with the council and fire officials, Ladau believes the city will come to a compromise at a council meeting Monday evening. They will no longer be required to have receipts, but there will be changes forthcoming uh, in their clothing allowance where the city will be providing um, more of their equipment directly, and then we'll look at decreasing what we give them as an allowance. It cost around $2,500 to buy a set of bunker gear, and we were only getting $800 a year. Logansport Fire Chief Mark Strong says the hope of getting more money from the city is very positive for his department, which he says gets some of the lowest clothing reimbursement in our area. And he agreed with Councilman Ladau that 95 percent of firemen were acting accountably. Trying to, you know, at the end of that, if they didn't need a new set of bunker gear, they were going out and buying whatever they could to try to, you know, make sure they didn't lose that amount because it was just going to clear off for the next year. Well, that says the employees with the two most concerning purchase histories no longer work for the city. Kristen Mayorano, News Channel 18.